Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, almost 40% of the U.S. Marines are refusing to get the jab. That's a lot. That's very significant. So it just goes to show you there are many in the U.S. military that absolutely don't want the jab. So this came out in the New York Post, April 10th, 2021. Semper, coronavirus, almost 40% of Marines are declining COVID-19 vaccine. Nearly 40% of the U.S. Marines are declining COVID-19 vaccinations, according to a new report. Some 75,500 Marines have received vaccine shots, CNN reported Friday. But 48,000 other Marines have turned the shots down. That means out of all the Marines offered shots, so far 38.9% are saying no. Another 102,000 Marines have not yet been offered vaccines. These stats are even more grim than reports from February, suggesting that overall about a third of military personnel are declining to be vaccinated. Back then, Air Force Major General Jeff Telefero, the Joint Chief of Staff Vice Director of Operations, told a congressional panel soldiers need education to help them understand the benefits of the vaccine. There have been uh, 273,503 cases of coronavirus within the Department of Defense as of April 9th, according to military.com. Part of the reason for the, you know, all, the high rate of them declining is among service members, the vaccinations for COVID-19 are not yet mandatory. And those who decline the vaccine can still be deployed. We've already demonstrated over the last year that we're fully capable of operating in a COVID environment, Talaferro said in February. In a statement to CNN, Marine Corps spokeswoman uh, Kelly uh, Fresh Hour said that uh, we're focusing on building vaccine confidence among personnel. We fully understand that widespread acceptance of the COVID-19 vaccine provides us with the best means to defeat the pandemic. You're not going to defeat nothing. So y'all, I guess you're probably would, I, I would imagine you would probably see the same thing in other branches of the military. So I can see it staying at this rate as long as it's not mandatory, as they're saying. So if you are in the military, please just let me know how you feel about this whole thing. Um, I just kind of see them trying to make it mandatory sometime in the future. But seriously, how do you feel about all enlisted people getting 
the COVID-19 vaccine? And how do you feel about many that are declining to do so at this time? Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.